So while the game ended up in a disappointment for Detroit Lions fans, there was definitely some positives to have, and maybe the biggest positive was how NFL-ready TJ Hawkinson already looked in his first game as a career NFL player. He was targeted 9 times and had 6 receptions for a record-breaking 131 yards, which is the record for most receiving yards as a tight end in his first career game, so definitely very impressive from Hawkinson. I definitely thought that Hawkinson is already running routes at a very impressive level for a tight end, and let alone for a rookie tight end. He was doing a very good job out there, and let's just get into it. The way it's going to work for Detroit is they're going to have the receiver who's at the top half of the screen just run a go route to the left side of the screen, and then Hawkinson will run an out route to the top half of the screen. So, you know, the idea is that the receiver runs deep which could push Cardinals further deep since this is going to be zone coverage and then Hawkinson can simply cut underneath him and then Stafford will look to try to hit Hawkinson. But what I really like about this play from Hawkinson is his route running and more specifically look at the stem of the route that he's going to run on this one. Look at how he's giving nothing away right at the start of this play. It's something I always talk about in route running because it is so important that when you're running the beginning portion of a route you make sure you do not give anything away. He could be going to the bottom half of the screen, he could be running straight, or he could cut up to the top half of the screen. There's really no way of knowing exactly where he's going to go if you're a defensive player trying to stop him. But then also what I like about it is he's going to have the footwork to easily cut up to the top half of the screen. He gets wide open and Stafford is able Able to hit him and he's able to even take a hit and get the ball past midfield very good all-around play from Hawkinson on that one and there was also this next one where it's going to be a cover two zone and Hawkinson he has a very simple route right here he's going to run about four or five yards deep and then just cut back it's a curl route and then he tries to take the pass as soon as he cuts so that's the way this play is supposed to work so it might seem like on paper it's a relatively easy route because it's only going for a few yards but actually these routes can be kind of difficult and how good Hawkinson runs this route can make a big impact on this play for one thing, it's worth mentioning they're inside their own five right here, so it's definitely a crucial situation to try to pick up some yards just to give you some breathing room. Put yourself in a situation where if Safford gets sacked, you don't get a safety out of it. But also, just in terms of the difficulty of this route, it's actually not quite as easy as it might seem, because you have to try to get to a top speed very quickly in a very short amount of time to try to get to the end of your route, but then you'll have to turn around and try to make the catch. You're going to have to have a quick burst of speed, but then you'll also have to have the footwork to get back and try to make the catch. That's the way it's supposed to work for Hawkinson. And so first things first, watch how quickly he does get to that spot. He gets there very quickly. He accelerates very quickly and he gets to his spot quickly. And that's not easy to do, but he did a good job there. But of course, that's only half of the play. The other half is you have to turn around and try to get to a position where Stafford can hit you and you can pick up some yards that way. So now the question becomes, will Hawkinson have the footwork to turn around and make this catch from Stafford? And the answer to that question is going to be yes. He is able to turn around, make the grab, and he picks up a decent gain on that one. It's nothing crazy, but it does matter a lot, especially just because now you don't have to worry about a potential safety, you're past a 10 yard line, where unless it's just, you know, a snap that goes over Stafford's head or something, the chances of this being a safety are almost zero. The whole point of that play was to try to get some breathing room, Hawkinson ran that route very well, and they were able to gain some breathing room. Hawkinson was already running several different types of routes very well, which is definitely pretty key, and not just from a tight end position, also from a position like this. Whereas you see where he's lined up, it looks like he's going to be a fullback on this play, it looks like he's going to be lead blocking for a run, that's what you expect when you see him in that position. He could be running out to the flat on the bottom half of the screen, but in fact he's actually going to do neither. He's going to fake as though he is going to be lead blocking, but then run out to the top half of the screen and try to get open. It's kind of a clever play because you can potentially fool the defense and it is going to fool the defense on this one actually pretty well in fact. That Arizona Cardinal is the guy who's in charge of covering Hawkinson but he's just going to completely screw up on this play. He completely thought it was going to be a running play. Hawkinson gets completely free and at this point there's really no Cardinal on him. However there is still an Arizona defender in the area. It's that guy who is actually in charge of covering the halfback but he realizes that Okay, my teammate screwed up on this one, and now Hawkinson is wide open, so maybe I shouldn't just let him stay wide open, I'll just make sure I'm covering him now. It's pretty good awareness to make sure that it's not going to be a wide open throw for Stafford, however, this is still very good leverage for Hawkinson, and a pretty easy throw for Stafford. And since Hawkinson has that speed, he is able to easily outrun the Arizona linebacker and just pick up a ton of yards. It's, you know, a good play concept, but also well executed by both Hawkinson and Stafford on that play. And I have a feeling we're going to be saying that a lot over the next who knows how many years. I do really feel like using him in play action is definitely a key way he can be effective. That's honestly a key way a lot of tight ends can be effective, but he's a good receiving tight end, and that's one way he can be effective. Like on this play, it's going to be a cover one blitz on this one, and that's going to be Hawkinson's route. So it's 
it's actually a pretty good way to beat this type of coverage. He's going to be cutting before the safety who's deep, and with the play action, that could potentially give you more time to allow Hawkinson to get open. So as long as Hawkinson can win his one-on-one -on -one matchup, this is definitely a place that Stafford should look to throw to. Really, these types of plays are usually designed to beat zone coverage. You get the linebackers to move in, and then you throw it over them. However, it absolutely can work against the coverage like this as well. And as you see, Stafford fakes the handoff, and now Hawkinson, he's in a good position right here. There might not be a ton of separation right yet, but that's because Hawkinson is still waiting on when he's going to want to cut. And the second he does cut, it'll be a lot easier for him to gain some space. Well, now the question becomes, well, how well will he be able to cut? Will he be able to just cut on a dime, or will it take him a little bit longer to do so? But he is going to cut very well, he gets easily open, and Stafford, he's just, he's not going to miss those throws very often. He makes a great throw, Hawkinson makes a great catch, and they pick up a big gain. I personally really did feel as though Hawkinson was just playing great all night. I thought he was terrorizing the Cardinals defense, which actually isn't a terrible defense. I know they were the worst team in the league last year, but that was largely just due to their inept offense more so than their terrible defense. I mean, they have some key pieces missing, so that's also another factor that went in, but I did feel like Hawkinson played very well. It wasn't just like the Cardinals were leaving him open or anything. He was definitely a significantly impactful player, which is kind of surprising because I actually thought that he didn't have the most promising preseason. Not in the sense that it discouraged me from who Hawkinson will be in the long term, but I did start to think, okay, maybe this guy isn't necessarily going to be NFL ready in 2019. Maybe it'll take him a year or two to develop, but I mean, clearly not. It broke the record for most receiving yards in a, as a rookie in his first game, so... I thought he played really well. There was also this play, which was a touchdown, and it's pretty crazy to got a touchdown, actually, because it's third down and 14 right here, so not a great situation for Detroit, and Arizona is going to be protecting anything deep. So while it is cover two zone, it's more of a loose cover two zone. You're playing very soft. You basically have the mindset of, I don't care if you get 13 yards on this play, just don't give up 14 yards on this play. That's all that matters. It's one of those situations where a 10-yard pickup is a great play for the defense. You know, you just don't want to give up the first down, especially when you're already in field goal range and Matt Prater is pretty automatic. I mean, obviously, you would love to get a stop for zero yards or get a sack or something, but just realistically, you want to make sure you don't give up the first down more than anything. But anyways, the way this is going to work for Detroit is they're going to have their number two receiver run just basically towards the middle of the field, essentially. And then they'll also have Hawkinson run right over there. And so the idea behind this is essentially that there's only going to be one Cardinal who's deep at the top half of the screen, and so he'll kind of have to choose which Detroit Lion he should cover. You can't be in two places at once, and in theory, maybe a Lion could get potentially open, Stafford can make a throw, and if not, well then Stafford can just throw it away and you kick the field goal. You're already up 11 at this point, so you don't have to take too many risks, although we do know what's going to end up happening later on in the game, but don't take too many risks. If something's open, make the throw. If something's not open, throw it away, go up by 14, not a big deal. And after this ball is snapped, the one thing you'll notice is that Stafford is going to be able to run outside the pocket, and so he's able to basically have as much time as he wants to potentially make a throw. And now Hawkinson is kind of open here, but there is a problem. There's going to be three Cardinals who are kind of in the area. So Hawkinson, there's a gap where maybe Stafford can make this throw, but it's going to be a tight throw. But one thing Hawkinson does well is he's going to take a few steps back, and also Stafford makes a great throw, and Hawkinson's able to leap up and make the grab. It was a good play by both of them, you know? It feels like a lot of these plays are both highlight reel plays from not just Hawkinson, but also from Stafford, but that makes sense. Oftentimes when you're showing a play where a tight end makes a good catch, there will be also a good throw involved, and that's what happened there. But Hawkinson did a good job of finding a place where he would be in the biggest gap in coverage, and then being able to leap up and make the grab. So I thought they were both impressive on that play. And of course, it's his first career touchdown, so that's pretty cool for Hawkinson as well. One more play I liked from Hawkinson was this one. It's going to be a cover three zone, and that's his route, which is a pretty good way to be the cover three zone. Not the best route to be the cover three zone, but it can be successful against this coverage. It's going to be into a gap in coverage. However, Arizona's going to play this one pretty well. As you see right here, a defender stays pretty far deep, and he is getting ready to try to make a play on this ball. One thing Hawkinson is going to do is kind of just use his size to his advantage. He's going to run basically just put his body in front of the Cardinal and where the ball is. He's not shoving off, he's not really creating too much contact, but just create a little bit of contact, and then there's really nothing you can do if you're a smaller player going up against Hawkinson. And of course, most people are going to be shorter than the 6'5 TJ Hawkinson, so that's definitely an advantage. And now one thing worth noting, he isn't actually able to make this catch. He gets his hands on it, isn't quite able to haul it in. You would like to see him be able to make those catches, but I'm not going to critique that too much. You would like to see him finish, but in his first rookie game, dropping one pass, is, it's not the end of the world. And I'm not even sure if I called out a drop, because it was a tough play, and you know, he ran a good route, he did get open, so I give him more credit than blame for that one. 
But that being said, there is absolutely one play that he deserves some blame for. This is probably his worst play of the game. This was definitely a rookie mistake, and who knows, it might have actually cost them the game. I know that sounds a bit dramatic, but this was a bad play from him. Here's the situation. There's 17 seconds left, and it's a third down and 10, and you're on your own 37-yard line. So if you can potentially get some solid yards and get out of bounds, you could potentially win this game in regulation. You know, tie game at the end of regulation. All you need is to try to get a field goal to win it. So... This is the situation going into this play. For Arizona, they're playing cover 3 zone, and for Hawkinson, pretty simple. Run deep. That's all you have to do. And after the ball is snapped, he's not really going to get too particularly open, which does make some sense. Arizona is definitely trying to be a bit cautious here and make sure they don't allow anything deep. But for Stafford, he's kind of saying, hey, you know what? This is their only chance we have to win it in regulation anyways, so why not take a shot? Worst case scenario, it's intercepted, but then they would almost definitely not be able to get into field goal range. Barring, you know, like a crazy run back or something, the chances are an interception isn't the end of the world, and also getting a catch could be the game winner, so you might as well just take a chance here. So while Stafford has that idea in his head, Head, Hawkinson has something very different in his head. He's gonna kind of slow down for some reason, and then Stafford just throws it way over his head. It's, it's not a smart play from Hawkinson, really, and it's definitely one that he will probably regret as of right now. You even saw right after this play happened, watching the broadcast, Stafford was yelling at Hawkinson, and that's honestly one of those times when it's probably a good thing that the tight end and the quarterback were a solid 50 yards apart. It gave Stafford a second to calm down and breathe for a second before actually explaining to Hawkinson why that was not a good decision by him. It's a rookie mistake, so I'm not going to get on him too much for that. You know, he thought, okay, scramble drill, try to do something different, try to get open. But in this situation, you really just got to keep running deep. It's a mistake you would expect a guy playing in his first NFL game to make. It's just unfortunate for Detroit that it happened in literally the worst possible time. I mean, it was the last play the Detroit Lions offense ran in regulation. And who knows, if he runs that one deep, maybe he is able to catch a 50-50 ball and get out of bounds, and then they could kick a long field goal, and Matt Prater is one that can kick some clutch field goals. It's definitely not the reason they lost the game, but it's still probably a pretty frustrating play that Hawkinson is going to say, man, I wish I had that one back. And so I did feel like I had to show that play. Play. It wasn't all positives from Hawkinson, but as a whole, he still did play really well. I mean, he was just getting open so consistently throughout the game. I think this guy is great. I already thought this guy was going to be great, but I didn't realize that this guy is pretty much already great, which is definitely a good sign for a Detroit Lions fan. Let me know what you thought. What did you think of Hawkinson's first performance in an NFL uniform? I'd like to hear what you guys had to say, and as always, thanks for watching.